Welcome to For His Beginner, Beginner's Guide to Mapping. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, video series will give you everything that you guys will need to know how to get started with making the beat maps for Beat Saber and how to play them yourselves, and then hopefully share them with everyone else to play. So in this first video, it's basically just going to be a, a general guideline, like going over you know the general process of how to make a map, going from selecting a song to editing the audio, and then you know getting the mapper, and then doing all that lovely fun stuff. So I'll be basically going over some of the resources you guys will want to be, you know, be uh, taking a look at and going over, and, so, and as well as re reviewing some of the different programs you guys will most likely will, are going to need in order to actually get started with mapping. So the first resource uh, you guys want to take a look at is going to be the BSMG wiki page, where it basically contains all the information regarding to just g g general generic Beat Saber modding in general, from, you know, how to get avatars and all, all that fun stuff. The main thing we're going to be focusing on as if you're a mapper, we want to mainly take a look at our mapper resources. So on this wiki page, basically has everything that we, uh, basically general guideline of everything you need to know about how to get started mapping, about how to, stuff to watch out for, some programs you're going to need, as well as a general, a general generic process of these are the steps you're going to need to do. So the first thing basically take a look at is this quick start guide where basically it goes through all those different steps. So when it does come to making a beat server map, map, basically the process boils down to Basically, you know, picking your song. Then once you have the song, basically editing the audio to make sure it's, it's all timed up and ready to be a start mapping, getting the right formats, figuring out what your BPM is. And then once you have all that set up, you'll then you basically have it set off to your, to your editor. We will then go through the whole process of actually making the song. So you will then basically, you know, go through you know, adding your blocks in, adding your patterns in. And then once you have all the patterns in, you'll then you basically go off to, hey, now we'll start making, making our nice little lovely fancy light shows. Then hopefully our map is now finally done. Well, they know, but you guys know they, they want to go through testing the map yourself to make sure everything does look good, it, it plays well. Then you also set it off to have someone else test it for you, make sure you know there's nothing that you missed. And then hopefully once it's all goes to the play testing, go back, re edit if you need to, retest it if you need to. And then once it's all said and done, we then upload our map to Beat Saver, and then yay, every the player song, awesome, really good. Now the question is, how do we go through all of those different steps? Well, lucky us, the wiki has all this stuff all ready to go for us. So as it, basically, uh, if you guys have any questions, basically just going through the quick start page. We will, we do have, you know, some of the a video a tutorial set up, namely the one you're watching right now, which on this video, you don't see it because, well, it's being recorded right now. But, you know, when you guys see, you, you will see, you know, Benny's uh, um, tutorials, you'll see Freak's tutorials as well as mine. So freaks, uh, freaks and Benny, Benny tutorials, they are, you know, good tutorials, but, you know, they, they are a little bit more outdated. They're using some, some old editors. So we've had, you know, t the times from, you know, some of these editors have been updated with extra features, different controls. So, yeah, now we have, you know, this, this tutorial uh, here for you guys. So, if you know, if you have more questions for mine, you also can check out those. But like I said, do be warned that, yeah, they are a little bit older. So some of the information might be a little bit outdated. But this wiki page is constantly going to be updated, so this wiki will always have the most up-to-date information to use. So definitely, if the wiki says it, yeah, you, you, it'll be safe to go from there. So uh, starting further down the list. So basically, like I said, basically going through this, so the process, basically the first part was getting your audio ready. So we have the various, various guides of, you know, basic, the basic audio as well as advanced audio. So later, later on in this video series, I will go into more detail about you know, the basic, uh, actually going through the basic steps of going, going from, uh, setting up your audio and then going from there. And we also go scrolling down a bit further. We have more information about our map editors. So when it comes to map editors, there are several different kinds out there. The one you guys are probably more, you know, more, you know, closer to basically seeing now is the official editor that is actually in a bundle with Beat Saber itself. So, I mean, this is a, you know, okay-ish editor to use. So the problem though is when it comes to actually mapping itself, if you guys have any questions with the mappers, most community mappers do not use the official editor, mainly because this came, you know, this came out later to the game compared to what, what, what we were using. So most of, the, most of the mappers got used to the community ones and then official came out and a lot of them didn't want to change. The other main issue is, you guys, you know, can kind of, kind of see listed, is that the official editor is a lot more bare bones in terms of an editor itself. For me personally, the, the main big drawback is 
the official editor is a 2D editor. It is not in 3D. You basically see a, you know, blank page of the blocks going through down a timeline. And it's a 2D space rather than a 3D space. So if you guys have issues basically visualizing what patterns might look like, 2D is not going to help you with that. Versus the community editors, they're all in 3D. So it actually gives you gives you a better idea of you know, what, what the stuff will look like in-game versus the official editor. So if you are really good at visualizing patterns, you know, official editor does tend to work out a bit faster making maps. But this is assuming that, you know, you are really good at mapping, you know, generally, you are really good at visualizing patterns, and you just basically knock out a map in a couple, you know, a couple hours. Then, okay, yeah, I feel good with the official editor. But there's other issues that the, um, with regards to using the official editor. Namely, a lot of creature, you know, basically, you know, like, a lot of creature comfort ideas. So, the, basically, the official editor has issues with, you know, uncommon precision. It's, ma it's mainly ba basically, you know, based in one half and one quarters. It does not have auto saves, and it doesn't have really good, good ways to recover issues. It doesn't really work well, uh, work well with copying pacing sections. It's hard to edit notes in place. If you guys want to do fancy light shows or fancy different colors, you can't use chroma in it. It's harder to get the audio, you know, set up. And another big issue, there is no built-in error tracker to check for issues with, you know, in terms of mapping practices. It does not have one. And as well as some, some extra things that uh, if you guys ever do, you know, clouds with other people or, or you know, if someone else makes lights and someone, one person makes a map, there is no way to basically, you know, set that apart inside the official editor. Basically says, you know, one person did everything and you can't do mapping extensions with it, which, you know, first time mapping, you don't want to use mapping extensions, but... Except the official editor can't use those anyway. So official editor, if you want to use it, again, feel free to. But yeah, a lot of people don't really use it. So when it comes to troubleshooting, if you guys have problems, yeah, we can't really help out with it too much because again, we've never we don't really use it. So we honestly don't know issues with that one. Instead, we highly suggest the community editors. The main one that everyone's using right now is Mediocre Map Assistant 2. So, this is basically, been, there have been several editors in the past. Each one is built, built, built off the other one that came before it. So, MMA2, this is now the most up-to-date mapper that everyone is using. It basically does everything that we need it to do. It has a lot, all those creature covers that I mentioned before. And it just works out really, really, really well. So, I would definitely suggest, you know, for an editor, definitely use MMA2. Now, however, though, when it does come to using MMA2... Some there, there are some issues with it, namely that it's not inc too incredibly optimized. It basically oper operates on the assumption that oh well, you know, you have a you, if you're playing if you're making uh, Beat Saber maps, you probably have Beat Saber itself or a uh, computer capable of playing VR. So the editor is rather resource intensive. So you might not have a really good computer that can actually handle this. So you, the MMA two and instead might not be you know you might not be able to use it. Or if you have you know if you have an older version of Windows, or if you're running on a Mac, it doesn't work well with those, namely at all. So instead, I would suggest the mapper beatmapper.app. So this one is a browser-based app that would actually allow you to, to make beat maps themselves. Basically, just you know runs in whatever browser you have. And I basically like to refer refer to it as 2.5D, where the visuals are 3D based, but as you're placing the uh, as you're placing the maps, you're basically you know kind of placing notes, and then you scroll down, and then basically you're basically kind of looking at it from from the player's vision, and then you place uh, place blocks that way. So, if, like I said, if you if you don't have a really good uh, piece that can handle MMA two, or if you just you know if you're on a Mac or something, in that case, yeah, I would be uh, I would suggest you know using the Speed Mapper app instead. And then there is another editor that's kind of right now it's called it's called beta. It's called Chrome Mapper. It's basically in essence referred to as the lighters mapper, where it's basically you know the uh, MMA two, but with more focus on you know dealing with lighting stuff. Unfortunately for Chrome Mapper right now, currently as of recording this video, it is still currently in closed beta, where they're basically kind of you know working out some some bugs fixes on it. So in that case, as a first time mapper, you won't have access to this yet. But good news, it basically does you know work similar to MMA two in terms of control scheme and how it looks. So if you get started with MMA2 and then eventually down the line, you want to switch to Chrome Mapper either when it's released or you have enough experience to actually get, get take part in the closed beta, you'll, you will be fine making that transition. So as you're basically starting further down, 
So there are some other tools. I'll basically I'll take some more details, you know, toward that at the end of, uh, the, end of the video. I'm basically, you know, I'll kind of more, more focus on these. Basically, yeah, there's a lot of various tools we do have uh, set up. So the next section we have in our mapping guide is the actual map, map, map the mapping practices themselves. So basically, in the, the early steps, okay, you've, you know, you've set up your audio, you've picked your editor, and now you are ready to actually start making the map itself. These are the guides you guys, uh, the guides you'll want to be focusing on. So basically, the, the basic mapping is all the general information of how to get started with and actually, you know, placing your notes, some, ba some various basic tips of, you know, the mapping practice themselves to know what works, what doesn't work, what you want to avoid, all that fun stuff. Intermediate mapping, again, it's coming up soon. And finally, extended mapping, which again, as a first time mapper, I would suggest against. This is basically stuff where, you know, using, you know, precision rotation or precision placement, basically, you know, add your notes outside of the not of the outstanding grid, I basically having, you know, five, six, 90 lanes, do some really funky wall mapping, or if you're gonna do 360 or 90 degree mapping. But again, first time mapping, yeah, probably not ready for you to do yet. But in either case, okay, you know, you basically follow the guide, you, you place your notes, your map's coming well together. We then basically go down towards the lighting practice of these guides. So these are the guys where basically says, okay, now comes the fun part of you've added your blocks. Now you wanna have your nice fancy light shows. So we have the basic guide of just generally how to go through lighting itself, basically what all, the, what all the lighting blocks are, how to add them, how to control them, all that fun stuff. Intermediate lighting, where basically you note know, takes the basic lighting and that adds extra fa fancy stuff. So basically looking at strobing effects, ring spins, all that, all that lovely, lovely fun product kind of, kind of stuff. And once again, advanced lighting, it's coming soon. And then finally, towards the end of basically going through the process making map, Play testing. So whenever you guys, you know, as you guys are making your maps, it's basically one of those things that as you're making it, definitely, definitely play test, uh, play, play test thoroughly, play test often, especially as a first time mapper, because you want to make sure that your map is going to be playable. So you want to make sure, you know, play the map yourself to see, you know, does the map actually work? Now, when it does come to that, as you guys, you know, you know, you, uh, you spend off time, you know, mapping the notes, you've added the notes, you've played it. Over time, you basically will develop what is known as mapper blindness. Since you know you've spent so much time working on this map, you've seen this map in and out, it's bent into your brain, you know what to expect, you know what you're intending with various hits. When you, uh, if you were to you know, share this map though, other players are not going to have that luxury. They're basically going into the map completely 100% blind, they don't know what to expect. So not only do you want to you know, test the map yourself, you also want to have other people uh, testing it for you, so that way they can kind of give you a guide of stuff you might have missed. So then, okay, you've, you've then tested your map, then comes the fun part, publishing your song. Hooray, it's all good to go. So throughout this, video uh, throughout this tutorial series, I will basically go through each of the different sections in a whole lot more detail, kind of guiding a line of how you guys are going to then make all these different maps. So at the end of this, we're basically gonna, uh, what I want to do is show you guys some of, the, some of those specific resources that you guys will need in order to get started with your mapping career. The first thing you wanna do, join the BSMG Discord server. So for the, for, on this Discord, there's you know, a whole lot of us, different, different mappers, different testers, that you, that you guys will be able to come to us with any questions you might have, either in terms of, you know, how uh, does this pattern look okay? I need someone to test my map. I have a question with how to place these lights in or how to do these blocks. We are here to answer any questions you guys might end up having. So definitely, definitely, definitely join this server for any questions you might have. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys probably have this already, but Beat Saver, the website for Beat Saver, this is basically where all of your maps are going to be uh, up, up, uploaded in the future, as well as how to get new maps. I'm assuming that if, you're, if you guys are getting an interest in a custom mapping, you guys already have this website favorited, but if you don't, yeah, do that. You will need this later on. So now, th so, th so those are some of the basic things you're gonna need. The other ones you're definitely gonna need is like I said, you're gonna need something to, uh, to edit your audio, test your audio, figure out your BPMs, and then the actual mapper itself. So in terms of audio editing resources, we wanna go is go to the basic audio setup guide. And here we have a couple links that you guys are definitely going to need, namely the program Audacity. So Audacity is a free program that will allow you to basically you know, 
basically do any audio stuff you're going to need to do with your map in terms of, you know, generating silence, you know, tr trimming a song down, checking volume. You will need this in order to be, not, not only that, but also to get the song, uh, the, the correct format you guys are going to need in order to play it, upload it, and put it in the mapper. So definitely go to this website and then download Audacity and then, and then, and then install it. Another program I would definitely highly suggest is what's known as AeroVortex. So what AeroVortex is, is that it is a program that, that, we, that will help to automate some process you're going to need to do, namely in terms of determining the BPM of a song, determine the offset of a song, certain stuff that you will need that will help you know make, make, make your mapping life a whole lot easier. So as for how to get this one, so there's a website for Error Vortex, but sometimes this website doesn't like to work. So we do have on, on the BSMG Discord, we do have a permanent link uploaded to the server. We can always download it right from there. So yeah, basically, you know, basically click there and then get this, uh, the, this program. It will definitely help you out in the long run. So now, so that, that's, that's the audio stuff you're gonna need. The other thing you are, you are going to need is the, is the editor itself. So like I said, the main one you guys want to do is MMA2. So the, the uh, series going forward, this is the one I will be referencing and using throughout my uh, through the tutorial process. So definitely, you know, I highly make sure you guys uh, guys get it. So when you do click on this link though, unlike the other ones, since, since this one's going to be on a GitHub page, in the past we've had a lot of people get kind of confused of where they click to get it. So when you guys, you know, click the link, uh, get to this uh, GitHub page, you want to click this top one where it's mma2.zip. Do not take the source code, either one, because these, these are, well, these are the source code of how the mapper works. They are not going to help you if you guys are going to use the editor itself. Get this zip file. So now when you do get this, when you do get the zip file, what you're going to want to do is you, you're going to need to extract it somewhere on, on your you know, computer in order to access it later on. What I suggest is, you know. Extract it somewhere where, where you have all of your different, you know, map, uh, mapping stuff all nice and, you know, put together. So for me, I just have a folder of here's all the things I have set aside for Beat Saber mapping. So I have the folder for my Air Vortex program, I have the, Air, the folder for Audacity, I have the one for the, the editor, and then some folders for either maps, uh, maps that I finished or that I haven't finished, I've just kind of checked aside. And then some, you know, higher quality WAV files for, for backup purposes. So that way it just helps with not nice and neatly organizing everything. So that way I have it all right here. So when you guys get your, uh, the, down on the zip, you're going to click on extract all. And then you will extract it to wherever you want it to be. So like I said, for me, I just set up a folder to put everything in. So I made a folder for maybe two, extracted it there. When you install Audacity, I told it install here. When I unzip, unzip Air Vortex, install it here. So that way everything is nice and good and nice and neatly organized. So, those are the main programs you are going to need. There are a couple uh, extra ones, like I said, namely the um, the Beatmapper uh, websites. So that way, you have you have an alternate in order to use your thing. The other program that I would definitely highly suggest using is Rabbit's Mapping Tools and BS Viewer. So, Rabbit's Mapping Tools is basically a website that will help you do some uh, extra issues, namely. If you've made a map and you know you try to upload and Beat Saber is giving you an error, there are some fixes that this can, this can kind of tell you. Hey, here's some issues that, that, that we found on this map. Here's how you fix it, or you could just have this all automated for you. The other one, the the BS Viewer. This is one that if you guys have been in the, if you guys have been in the BSMG Discord, this is what that this is the website that where those all those 3D previewers are generated in the Discord where you can either Upload your file, enter Beat Saber ID, or just enter a link of a song, and it will then show you this is what your map will look like inside the game. So that way, if you're trying to trying to get feedback of does this look okay, well, upload it to the website, give people the link, and then they can they can, they can kind of watch it up for you and basically kind of kind of give you an idea of how well this works. So I believe that is about all the ones I'm going to need to go over for, for this website. So hopefully you guys, you know, like I said, you got, you guys have downloaded Audacity, you guys have downloaded Aero Vortex, you guys have downloaded your editor, and then you guys have had these other ones set aside for future reference. 
And hopefully you guys have also joined the scores so that we're nice and good and ready to go. All right, so that brings me to the end of this first video. So now next up, we're basically gonna go, going to go over into the next section of the, of, the, of the actual song process. And that is choosing your song itself and getting your audio file ready. So I will see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh